the issue on the table. France is on the verge of war with England. Now do we provide aid and troops to our French allies or do we stay out of it? Remember, my decision on this matter is not subject to congressional approval. The only person you have to convince is me. Secretary Jefferson, you have the floor, sir. When we were on death's door when we were needy, we made a promise. We signed a treaty. We needed money and guns and half a chance. Uh, who provided those funds? France. In return, they didn't ask for land. Only a promise that we'd lend a hand and stand with them if they fought against oppressors. And revolution is messy, but now is the time to stand. Stand with our brothers as they fight against tyranny. I know that Alexander Hamilton is here and he would rather not have this debate. I'll remind you that he is not Secretary of State. He knows nothing of loyalty. Smells like new money, dresses like fake royalty. Desperate to rise above his station. Everything he does betrays the ideals of our nation. Hey, and if you don't know, now you know, Mr. President. Thank you, Secretary Jefferson. Secretary Hamilton, your response. You must be out of your goddamn mind if you think the president is gonna bring the nation to the brink of meddling in the middle of a military mess, a game of chess where France is queen and kingless. Who signed a treaty with a king whose head is now in a basket? Would you like to take it out and ask it? Or should we honor our treaty, King Louis' head? Uh, do whatever you want. I'm super dead. That's enough, right. enough. Hamilton is right, Mr. President. We're too fragile to start another fight. But. Sir, do we not fight for freedom? Sure, when the French figure out who's gonna lead them. The people are leading. The people are rioting. There's a difference. Frankly, it's a little disquieting. You would let your ideals blind you to reality. Hamilton, sir, draft a statement of neutrality. Did you forget Lafayette? What? Have you an ounce of regret? You accumulate debt, you accumulate power, yet in their hour of need you forget. Lafayette's a smart man. He'll be fine. And before he was your friend, he was mine. If we try to fight in every revolution in the world, we never stop. Where do we draw the line? So quick-witted. Alas, I admit it. I bet you were quite a lawyer. My defendants got acquitted. Yeah. Well, someone ought to remind you. What? You're nothing without Washington behind you. Hamilton. Daddy's calling.